Yo, 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 yo. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy EOU, a.k.a. the Harlem Legend, man. Let's get right into this one, man. So it's Empire Records. Yeah, we said that right, y'all. Empire Records. Is Empire Records a death label? Hmm. Let's take this back, y'all. It all started with Aaliyah. Yeah, she was signed to Empire Records, y'all. August 25th, 2021. Tragically, this young lady lost her life. Now, she was a talented singer, y'all. She was up next. She was in the groove of things. She lost her life in a mysterious plane crash. To this day, I'm still stumped. I still don't know, really know what went down. I'm just keeping it real. Do y'all remember XXX Tension? The young, talented, he was a young, talented rapper, but I wasn't really in tune with him, but he had a cult following. You heard? He was starting to make his wave. He was starting to get crazy. Unfortunately, he lost his life. Rest in peace to XX Extension. Rest in peace to Aaliyah. These are all young, talented, next level, on their way. Losing their lives. Well, he died June 18th, 2018. Robbery gone wrong. That's what they calling it, y'all. Then we got King Vaughn. I'm just saying, y'all. We got King Vaughn. Chicago, talented. Dope artist. Came out of nowhere. Came out of jail. Went to work. Tragically, he lost his life too. Down in Atlanta. You know the beef. We all know what that do. We already know what it is. November 16th, 2020. Deceased. He lost his life. Rest in peace to King Vaughn. But this was like the saddest time in hip hop. You heard? Because six days later, we lost Mo3. Yeah. We lost King Vaughn November 6th. We lost Mo3 November 12th. He was gunned down on the freeway. He was signed to Empire too. Now, I'm not the one for theories, y'all. But they all was on their way. You heard? They was all on their way. Now we got Young Dolph. Rest in peace to Mo3, man. Rest in peace to King Vaughn. We got Young Dolph. 36 years old. Gunned down. Definitely getting to a dollar. Look, man, this is all I'm saying. A lot of these record labels, they sign these, these dudes, they get these dudes a lump sum of money, a bunch of money, and being that they're independent and they know how to go get it, they end up making more money than the expectations of the labels. You get where I'm going with this, shot? They end up making more money and they're exceeding expectations of these labels. To the point where they can buy back their masters. They can buy back their publishing. I'm just keeping it tall. A lot of these rappers are making real money. And able to go half with the label. Like what leaked about Young Dolph. Now I'm not ensuing anything. But is this a death label? Look at everybody I talked about. They were soaring. Ex 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 extension. Had a hell of a following. You heard? A lot of these rappers signed away they publishing. They signed away they, they rights. But they able to buy it back over time because they exceeded what the record label thought they were going to do. Now, is this a devil's 
I'm just saying, is this the devil's lair? Is Empire Records a death label? I'm just asking the questions, y'all. I just gave y'all true facts. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Spread the message out. But I'm going to keep it tall. All these artists lost their lives while they were peaking, while they were moving to the next level. I'm just keeping it a honey, y'all. Yo, it's your boy E or you, aka the Harlem Legend, man. Like, comment down below, subscribe, man. Is Empire Death Label? Y'all let me know. Because I'm possibly. Holla at your boy.